Origins of the Philippine Archipelago and Early Human Migration Long before the Philippines became a nation, these islands were born from the fiery clashes of the Earth's forces, witnessing millions of years of transformation and the arrival of the earliest ancestors. In this episode, we uncover the fascinating origins of the Philippine archipelago and explore how early humans found their way to these shores, laying the foundation for the rich Filipino cultural heritage. The Philippines is an archipelago of over 7,600 islands, each with its own story to tell. But how did these islands come to exist? And who were the first humans to call this land their home? In today's episode, we'll journey back millions of years to uncover how the Philippine Islands were formed through dramatic geological events. Then, we'll meet the early humans who walked these lands, from the mysterious Tab and Man to the Austronesians who would shape the culture. Join us as we unravel the story of the Philippines' origins, a tale of survival, discovery, and a rich cultural tapestry that began long before the arrival of colonizers. Our story begins over 50 million years ago, during a time of immense geological upheaval. Tectonic plates beneath the Pacific Ocean clashed with immense force, triggering massive shifts in the Earth's crust. These collisions pushed sections of the ocean floor upward, creating volcanic islands that would eventually form the Philippine archipelago. This process was far from peaceful. For millions of years, volcanic eruptions shaped the land, spewing molten rock and ash into the sky. Some islands were created only to be swallowed again by the shifting plates, while others grew and endured, becoming the foundations of the Philippines we know today. The Philippines' position along the Pacific Ring of Fire, a region notorious for its intense volcanic and seismic activity, has been both a blessing and a challenge. These ancient forces carved out a landscape of towering volcanoes, fertile valleys, and lush mountains, but they also left the region prone to earthquakes and eruptions. The result is an archipelago with stunning diversity. Iconic volcanoes like Mayan and Tal, the mysterious chocolate hills, and fertile plains that nurture life. These geological marvels are living reminders of the Earth's power to create and transform. Even today, the forces that gave birth to these islands remain active. Volcanic eruptions like those of Mount Pinatubo in 1991 and Tal in 2020 remind us of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of this region. These same forces continue to shape the land and sustain its natural fertility. The story of the Philippines' formation is a testament to nature's power, creativity, and resilience. It laid the groundwork for a land of beauty and abundance that has supported human life for tens of thousands of years. Tens of thousands of years ago, long before recorded history, the Philippines saw the arrival of its earliest human inhabitants. One of the most significant discoveries shedding light on this chapter of history came from the Taban Caves in Palawan. In 1962, Dr. Robert Fox and his team unearthed the remains of Taban Man. While initially thought to be the earliest human inhabitant of the Philippines, further studies revealed that these remains were at least 20,000 years old. Alongside the skeletal fragments, tools made of stone and bone painted a picture of early life on these islands. But the story of human presence in the Philippines goes back even further. In 2007, researchers working in northern Luzon's Kalao Cave made a groundbreaking discovery that redefined our understanding of early human history in Southeast Asia. Here, scientists found a single foot bone belonging to an ancient human, later named Kalao Man. Radiocarbon dating revealed that this individual lived an astonishing 67,000 years ago making Kalao Man one of the oldest known human remains in the region. This discovery raised new questions. Who were these early humans? What did they look like? And how did they arrive on these islands? During the Ice Age, lower sea levels exposed land bridges, allowing early humans to migrate from the Asian mainland to the Philippines. These ancient travelers likely followed herds of animals, relying on their instincts and survival skills to navigate unfamiliar terrain. Life for these early inhabitants was challenging. They hunted animals, gathered fruits and plants, 
and use natural materials to craft tools for survival. Their ability to adapt to the archipelago's diverse landscapes ensured their survival for thousands of years. As the Ice Age ended and sea levels rose, the land bridges disappeared, isolating the Philippine Islands from the mainland. This isolation played a key role in shaping the unique evolution of the people, animals, and ecosystems that thrived here. The story of early humans in the Philippines is a testament to resilience, ingenuity, and adaptation. Their arrival marked the beginning of human history in the archipelago, setting the stage for the cultural evolution that would follow. Around 4,000 years ago, a transformative wave of migration brought the Austronesians to the Philippines, these skilled seafarers, originating from Taiwan, navigated vast ocean distances using their advanced knowledge of the stars, winds, and currents. Their arrival marked the beginning of a cultural shift that would shape the archipelago's identity. The Austronesians were more than just settlers. They were innovators and pioneers. Their ability to cultivate rice, domesticate animals, and practice advanced agricultural techniques revolutionized how communities lived and thrived. Their knowledge allowed them to transform the fertile lands of the Philippines into abundant farming hubs. These early communities flourished along rivers and coastlines, where the Austronesians built settlements that reflected their harmonious relationship with nature. They adapted to their environment, using resources sustainably, while fostering a sense of collective responsibility and interdependence. Their cultural contributions extended beyond agriculture, the Austronesians brought a rich oral tradition, passing down myths, legends, and histories through storytelling. They developed languages that would evolve into the Filipino dialects spoken today and created intricate crafts like pottery, weaving, and metalwork, showcasing their creativity and ingenuity. The barangay system, led by Datis, emerged as the cornerstone of early Philippine governance. These small, self-sufficient communities were organized and structured with Datis serving as leaders who upheld justice, facilitated trade, and ensured the well-being of their people. Cultural practices like music, storytelling, and rituals strengthened community bonds. Festivals celebrated the bounty of the land and sea, while elders passed down wisdom to future generations, ensuring the continuity of traditions. The Austronesian migration not only transformed the physical landscape, but also laid the cultural foundations for the Filipino identity. Their legacy endures in the languages, traditions, and communal values that remain integral to Filipino life today. The story of the earliest ancestors continues to live on in Filipino traditions, languages, and cultural practices. These connections remind us that the roots of Filipino identity run deeper than the arrival of colonizers. Today, we explored the captivating origins of the Philippines, from the fiery geological events that shaped its islands millions of years ago, to the remarkable journey of early humans, including the discoveries of Taban Man and Kalao Man, and the Austronesians who introduced innovation and culture to its shores. These early chapters in the history remind us of the resilience, ingenuity, and interconnectedness of the early ancestors, foundations that continue to shape Filipino identity today. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss the next episode, where we dive into the world of barangays and the powerful leaders who shaped early Filipino communities. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Until next time, let's continue uncovering the stories that make the Philippines truly extraordinary. Stay curious, stay inspired, and we'll see you in the next chapter of Pre-Colonial Philippines, a rich cultural tapestry.